story time with Madame Delina. Yay! Hello, my radical readers. Madame Delina, delighted to see you today. Our story today, boys and girls, is hilarious. It's about a hippopotamus. Ooh, long word. Can you say that? Hippopotamus. Great! Well, this hippopotamus had a spot on her bottom or her bum. Oh! And nobody knew where it came from or what it was. And so started the mystery of finding out where the spot came from and what on earth it was. Are you ready to laugh with me, boys and girls? Say, bring it on, Madam Delina! Awesome, let's do it! Hippopotamus had a spotamus on her bottomus. It's measles, said Weasel. You sat in a breezer and caught a disease. It's only one treatment, exposing your seatment to sunshine and heatment. Potamus stood on her head, tail to the sun, like Weasel said, but the Spotamus stayed red. It's Hippopox, said Fox, wear woolly pants and socks, warm petticoats and frocks. But Potamus got Hotamus, Grumpamus and Grotamus, and still she had the Spotamus. It's jungle fever, said Beaver. I believe we should leave her to scrub her skin with soot. Now soot, boys and girls, is a thick black substance. So Potamus got Sootamus from Nosimus to Footamus. But the Spotamus stayed put. <gasps> Boys and girls, what do you think the spot is? It's hippo lumps, said Lion. It's potter bumps, said Shrew. It's hippo flu, said Rhino. But no one had a clue. I'm a doctor, said Croc. Do you feel any pain when I stroke it? And poke it. Let me try that again. A needle in the bottomus will rid you of the spotamus. Despite his perfect shotamus, the cure was in vain. Oh dear, poor hippopotamus, boys and girls! Get some lister, said her sister. You should pop it right away. It's an ingrown hair, said Brown Bear. Just smother it with clay. It's snotimus. What rotimus. You glottimus, hissed Snake. The slippy hippopotamus is allergic to cake. Cut out chippo chocomus. Eat lettuce. For a week. But the spot on Hippo's bottomus stuck firmly to her cheek. Then all sad and synonymous <laughs> became a little lad who searched round a lotomus for something he once had. He knew he put it somewhere, but alas, he had forgotten us until he saw the body of the spotty hippopotamus. The small boy had a sneaky peek and tweaked the hippo's bum. That's not a spot, he squeaked. That's my bubble gum. Oh! <laughs> it was bubble gum. The end. Wasn't that a tummy tick 
cool boys and girls. <laughs> Even Nev had a good laugh. It's so wonderful to see you smile, my radical readers. And it's important to have a good laugh as often as you can. And now it's time for Madam Delina and Nev right here to say goodbye, goodbye, goodbye for today. We'll see you next time. So hip, hip. <laughs>